first and second place uh, masters in the uh, MCSA uh, Masters Championship at Cedar Lake. Dan Giddinger and Dan Quirum. And these guys were awesome because we had really fluky wins and they were consistent enough to finish with like 10, and 11, 10 points or 11 points. Right, right, yeah. So uh, why don't you both just talk about wh how you maintain such consistency in, the, in this crazy breeze that we had. You go first, Kid. All right. Uh, well, I just tried to, you know, even even on the first beat of the race, even if the start wasn't perfect or something like that, I tried to just work the work the second half of the beat was, you know, super important coming to the mark, and uh, I didn't know it at the time, but uh, mm -hmm. <laughs> did, you know, you know, get, just getting into that mark uh, and you know, on the right side was. Mm -hmm. you know, probably the biggest key. Was that today specifically the right uh, side or I just in both, yesterday, yeah, yeah, both, all, all three things. races, yeah. Because this was a right yeah, track. short little racetrack. All the weather cams were up under, I know they tried to keep them off the shore, but they were up under the shore. Mm -hmm. So yeah, yeah, it was huge because if you couldn't get in there, it was a mess. And if yeah. you got in and then got out of there, yeah. mm -hmm. that you was key. That, you had to get that last puff. Right. I certainly experienced that yeah. in the wrong way, <laughs> but yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I had I my big deal was I was I was uh, you know after last week when we were down in Beulah this sailed a lot like Beulah mm -hmm. to me and uh, you know I, I wanted to st I didn't want to pick an in to start and you know make myself have to stay there when I was kind of in the middle mm -hmm. and tried to get clear air and figure out what was going on mm -hmm. and you know, I guess the last race today and then the race uh, that we sailed yesterday. Um, I was that was really good because then I had clear air for you to do stuff. And, mm -hmm. yeah, I felt like I had good boat speed, so that always helps. Once you get clear air, yeah. it helps your boat speed for right. sure. For sure, exactly. Yeah. So that that was my biggest thing. Yeah. How about uh, just uh, just maintaining that boat speed through all the different velocity? Do you, you guys make a lot of adjustments, uh, Traveler, uh, not maybe not Traveler this weekend, but Vang and uh, Cunningham? Yeah, definitely. I'd say, you know, I was even playing the out all a little bit, you know, mm -hmm. probably, you know, I was probably about an inch off the band, uh, mm. you know, and maybe if it was fully hiked out, I'd be about a half inch off. And oh, that loose. Keeping the, about a half inch off the black band. Mm -hmm. you know, but uh, if it was, yeah, if, uh, yeah, if it lightened up, I'd light, I would ease it off about an inch mm -hmm. off the black band. So, mm -hmm. uh, but that was about all you could do. It was mostly main sheet tension. And, you know, the bigger puffs certainly are working the bang a little bit too. Mm -hmm. uh, I didn't really hit the cutting hand at all. No, so, I didn't either. It was just too much. Mm -hmm. Not I don't, enough time. Yeah, I was tighter on my outhaul. It just feels like I've got a new north that we put up last week. So it's got six racers. What's it got? Nine races on it now, and it was. Um, I just feel like that sail right now. I have to keep my outhaul tighter than I usually would, because mm -hmm. if I don't have it, doesn't feel like for me at least my boat doesn't go forward. Mm -hmm. It's just kind of going on its I side. I think it opens up the leech. The tighter your outhaul is, okay. The leech and mm -hmm. a little bit more free. Yeah. Mm -hmm. My big deal too is you know main sheet. It's interesting. Both Dan and I have an extra purchase on our main sheets. Oh. And. Uh, I mean, I would, there were times when my main sheet was way off and, you know, I see the puff coming and I'm just not, not reaching, but I'm not hard on the wind trying to get to that puff, get mm -hmm. to that wind mm -hmm. and then tack on it. And, you know, you'd get those puffs and instead of heading the boat up, man, I would ease the, the mm -hmm. sheet and flatten the boat out and trim back in and, mm -hmm. you know, and then the boat would squirt mm -hmm. out and stuff, you know, managing. And to me, it was all main sheet pretty much is what I was doing. Mm -hmm. So you both have the, the what, four to one? Or whatever it is, the extra Double purchase. The yeah. Yeah. Is it easy enough to ease? So you can you ease fast enough with that? Yeah. 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 I just feel I'm able to keep it out of the cleat a little bit more, and you know, just mm -hmm. put the main sheet. It's a little less pressure mm -hmm. on it. Well, you guys are strong. What do you mean? You don't need a cleat. Damn strong. <laughs> yeah. Right, and you know, then that way, the DMC, you, you've got main sheet and the the tiller extension in your hand at times. Mm -hmm. You know, right. And pulling other controls, it right. just makes that easier. Or even if you've got the main sheet in your hand. You're Pulling, you know, right. on the control with that hand. So we've had that. I think you and I, we've sailed these things for a while. We've had that forever. Yeah, I've had mm -hmm. them since uh, the beginning. Since yeah. Since mm -hmm. right. Very good. What about uh, deciding where to start? Was that a, a big, uh, big factor for you? Uh, you know, it uh, you know certainly plays a part role in the whole thing. But I think probably at least two of the start, two of the three starts, I was probably on the wrong end of the herd. Mm. You know, not not in the right spot in mm -hmm. the line, and uh, just kind of worked worked through the fleet a little bit, and you know, and that, like I said, coming into that mark was yeah, you know, not really. Big. I was trying to be conservative. I I tried. 
I wasn't that way later last week down at Beulah, and, and my results went backwards. I didn't get good starts. So I wanted to pick a spot. I was, I was in the middle to one, you know, one of the thirds. Mm -hmm. I was always down at the port third, mm -hmm. but in the middle, I wasn't all the way down there. And again, just get free air and have that ability to, if I needed to tack, I could tack. If I needed to roll on, you know, on starboard mm -hmm. after the start, I could do that. So mm -hmm. just clear air so you got some freedom. Right, yeah. if, even if you weren't in the right spot, yep. you, perfect spot on the line, if, as long as you got out there and boat speed was pretty key. Yeah, yeah. just to get Good. off the line. Because I got hammered the first start today, and I just reached off and I let a couple of guys tack and get out of my way, you know, because mm -hmm. at least for me, there's times when you start tacking and then you're behind and you just get further behind. So mm -hmm. try to find a lane and then squirt out and right. get to some breeze. Excellent. So, Anything else you want to say about the the, the success? I don't know. I, I, for me, it was great coming off of last week because mm -hmm. I was able to take some time and reflect on what I did last week and come into this week and try some different things. Mm -hmm. You know, settle down a little bit more within the, the regatta and stuff yeah. and in the races. So yeah. that was good. If, you know, for little guys, it was a fun little venue. You know, I'm looking forward to Geneva where we can get out there and roll and, you know, get some big mm -hmm. water and stuff. Yeah. It's going to be a whole different ball game yeah. over there. Yeah, I mean, it was just great just getting here and, you know, getting, getting out against, against the top level competition, you know, really helps fine-tune things and Excellent. get a lot faster through the weekend just, you know, sailing against all these, all these yeah. guys are great. And now you're the master of the master stand. Congrats, buddy. <laughs> all right. Yeah. Thank you very much. <laughs>